This is Blisso. And I'm Vic. Come along for the ride as we explore in our old patrol we call Old Mac. Come with us and discover the best camping and swimming spots Australia has to offer and check out the secret spots we find and become a part of our Old Mac crew. Our crew. It is really nice. Well, look who got Lonely and joined me. Well, we're back. Ooh. Back in Sharinga. Yep. Back in the exact same spot. Yep. The ocean's a bit angry at the moment. Awesome. Good to the sky. Yeah, good to be here. Yep. I'm glad this. I hate to say, but I'm glad the um, clouds are out because it'd be very humid if that yeah. sun was out. Yeah. It's sort of warmish and humidy. It's humid, it's sweaty, but nice. But it's bearable at the moment. So anyway, we're here, what we say, for two nights. Two nights, yeah. Yeah, so we've been here before, we've filmed it all before, so we won't be filming much here, will we? Not unless something awesome happens. Unless something awesome happens, we'll show you. But otherwise, um, if not, we'll just be here relaxing and we'll see you guys in Port Lincoln. If you want to check out Sharinga Beach more in depth, check out our uh, episode earlier in the piece on Sharinga. And uh, yeah, happy days. And uh, yeah, happy days. Oi, Rick. <laughs> G'day, guys. It's about 8 o'clock here at Sharinga Beach, and we are doing nothing special. Just what we do 90% of the time. And I just thought, I just stopped for a second and thought, how lucky are we? We're just eating a few curried snags. I just made dinner in my bare feet at the stove with a view. Look at that. We're just sitting here eating our dinner. No one else within God knows how far away from us with this absolutely smashing sunset. And I just thought, stop and remind yourself, how lucky are we? We are very lucky we are. to be here with that at the dinner table. Yeah, but that's just, isn't it? Isn't it? Like it's stuff, this is, this is stuff we don't film because it's every day. Yeah. It's just, so, yeah. It's just a cracker and it's getting better and better. Yeah, but, it is. Yeah. Anyway, back to me curry snags. I just thought I'd show you that and just, yeah, it's an appreciation post about how awesome this is. It is, really is. Yeah. We're really, really lucky to be here. Yep. And lucky to be doing it with my bestie. It'd be <laughs> shit if we didn't like each other. Yeah, it'd be no good at all. <laughs> Morning, dear. Morning, darling. What's going on here? You got your pointy elbows in your calf muscle. Have I? <laughs> I'm just laying on your toes. <laughs> Which is what happens when I stretch out the conscious side of the bed. So this is our view at Sharinga. And it's lovely, but the ocean's wild. It's been raining on and off all night, hasn't it, Yeah, it's awesome. Um, so... I love the wild. Well, they're saying that it was going to be 50 km hour winds, but I don't think we got that. If yeah. we did, it was only a gust here and there. Yeah. So, it's a shame, but anyway, we're going to move on today. I think the weather's going to get a bit worse as the weekend goes on, didn't it? Yeah, they're putting flood warnings and stuff out, saying that you need to batten down and... Yeah predicting up to 150 mil of rain tomorrow so yeah. we just want to make sure we're somewhere yeah like literally if we were here we'd have to have the starlink on most of the day yeah and we'd be flat so just going to find some power yeah and batten down the hatches and yeah see it out to where we're going port lincoln port lincoln we are going to port lincoln the caravan park there in town it's a bit more expensive but it's close to everything we'll want so we can do some shopping and stuff like that. Yeah. We'll have power, we'll have everything we need just to settle in for a few days. I think we're looking at three days. Three nights. Yeah. Three nights, because tomorrow... And Monday. And Monday will be the worst two days. Yeah. Um, so anyway, we're just going to enjoy this view for another minute or two while yeah. Vic finishes a coffee. We are all but packed up. We knew the weather was going to turn last night, so we packed most of everything up yesterday afternoon yep. um, so all we really got to do is fold the bed and the roof and we're out of here yep. yeah 
<laughs> oh good, all right. So that's our plan for the next three days. Well, this is a bit of a turn up this way. Certainly is, isn't it? It's been a while since we drove in the rain. Yeah. It's like 13 degrees right now. It's cold. Jump was on, middle of summer. Yeah. Anyway, I'll take that over 40 degree any day. So, where my brother is in Denny, it's 45 degrees today. My sister's down in Sydney visiting and it was like 42 and she's cranking the air con. And me and Bliss are snugged up. It's, how hot did you say it was? 13 degrees, I'm thinking about putting a heater on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it's just legit one of them days. And this is the good day, so tomorrow and Monday are supposed to be worse. So I think we've made a good decision making a booking because we'll be able to just snuggle up, get some editing done. Oh yes, I see a car up here in the campground. Me and Blisso had a bet, and I bet that there'd be one car and he said none, so I win. And um, Bliss said he'd buy me a new iPad if I won. Did I? I didn't mention it. There was no mention of iPads. Wasn't there? No. I thought that was what we were You're betting just on. just making known rules now. <laughs> I made it up after I won. All right, well, we're going to take it really easy getting out of here. The road's really good. It's not an issue, but it, it's wetter than I thought it would be. Did you think it was going to be this wet, Bliss? Oh, I suspected it, but I'm, I'm tipping if it got a decent downfall. It could get a bit slippery, but it is fairly gravelly, so it's yeah. all right. Yeah, I wouldn't go too quick, especially yeah. with it being on. Yeah. yeah. Lucky we aren't on a clay pan or something. We would have had to get out last night. One van. One van. Not even a van, it's a camp trailer. And how many did I say there'd be? One. You like that? I reckon he's still here because he's, his canvas is all wet. He doesn't want to pick it up. <laughs> camp trailer life. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. All right, well, we'll catch you. We're going to try and call into Coffin Bay because I badly want to see the vending machine that has prawns in it. So I'm gonna, we're going to try and find it and check that out. And then it'll be on to Port Lincoln. Well, dear, we've made it to Coffin Bay. Yeah, we have. Now we go in search of vending machine that has prawns. Correct. It's the only reason we're coming in here, I think, isn't it? <laughs> yes. I badly want to see a vending machine that has prawns in it. Plus, we haven't had a real good look around, so it wouldn't hurt to spend 10 minutes here and check the joint out. Maybe get some lunch. Anything's open? Yeah, it wouldn't hurt. Nearly one o'clock. Mm. Old guts is grumbling. Yep. Alright, let's see if we can find this machine. Okay, I think we've located it, Bliss. Oyster HQ. Correct. Right. I'm pretty sure this is where it is. We'll fly down here and see if we can find it. So yeah, this is all the stacks here, obviously. And up there, it's the main entry in. What do you think there? We don't need the oysters usually, I think she just wants to have a look. Yeah, yeah so we won't go in here, we'll get some lunch elsewhere, but just having a quick geezer. Yep. And move on, won't we dear? We will. So here we are. You can buy tom yum, tomato mussels. broth, mussels. These are all oysters. They're all your oysters in there. How cool. That. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Just use a card or cash, I think, by look of things. Coins. And this is what is available at the moment. Yeah. And this is the HQ here. Obviously, can't use that door. Go around the other side. Nice table. Over the water. And lovely coffin bay. That right there. I even got the nice little roof up here that's going to keep the rain off you pretty well. <laughs> Not really. Dad joke. That is a dad, dad joke. joke. That is a dad joke. So we done the tour and we remembered that this section here. There she goes, going to get us a feed, ain't you dear? We're going over to the Peckish Pelican Cafe. I don't know what we're going to end up with. But anyway, Oyster HQ is just down this way. You come in off the Flinders Highway in this way. This is all the main sort of shopping area. You go down here, down this way, uh, probably 500 metres and you turn left. That'll take you to the hotel. 
and then the rest of it's pretty much from what I can see is uh, just residential area so fuel here at the moment for diesel here is a dollar ninety nine point seven which is good if I just go down the road here to the beach camera it's a dollar ninety seven for diesel so quite cheap but we're going in the coffin so I don't need fuel here and anyway I'll wait for this tuck and we'll get into uh, Port Lincoln and get set up there before this rain starts to settle in. I think it's right for the afternoon. Tomorrow is the big day, so you want to be ready for that. You also better better add to here in Coffin Bay, like the caravan parks down that way, just down across the road from Oyster HQ. So if you like oysters and you want a caravan park, ideal. And the prices of fuel, I better add that today is the 9th of December. Um, so just, you know, by the time this video comes out, it could be a couple of months down the track. So I just wanted to say that now. I'm hoping that the, fee, the price keeps coming down because at the moment it's dropped probably 30 cents from when, when we were here last. Down the beach came, it was $2.34. Now it's $1.97. So there you go. There's the price difference in the last six or seven weeks. So I'm glad to see it's coming back down a little to make it a bit more affordable. Hopefully, we can find a site that's not too, not level, because look at that. Yeah, it's, um, She's on an angle. It's very much so on an angle. And it's just starting to have really big raindrops, so Bliss is going to run in and find out where we are. Get ourselves organised. And hopefully get set up before it absolutely this smashes. paid for, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. How'd quick. you go, big dog? Well, that was very quick. We just walked in, got this and walked out. So we're in site 54. Now they got this new rec room. Okay, good. We're all talking about we were the talking lounge about that. and that. So that's where we can spend some time in there tomorrow, especially if it's going to be really crappy. So, yeah. yeah. So we'll go and see what it looks like, eh? Right, let's do it. 54. So here we are, Port Lincoln Tourist Park, hunkered down for the weekend. Uh, and this is what we're looking at at the moment. It is Sunday, about lunchtime. The winds are up, the uh, rain stopped for the minute, so I might um, duck up to the loo instead of using ours. I'll leave that for Vic as much as I can. Uh, but yeah, look at this. But this is the caravan park, this is our site, number 54. This is our view from where we are. Nice big park, plenty of room. Um, so up here we got the rec centre, or the rec room I should say. TV, lounge, tables and stuff, you can sit in here and eat. Amenities block here, and that's sort of some of the park around that side of it. New pool over here, on sweet sights and things. But anyway, that's why we're here, and we'll be here till Tuesday. We leave Tuesday morning. I thought, I thought I'd give you a bit of a look why we're here. It's our second caravan park, and it's Two, uh, what have we got? So we stayed at Elliston for two nights, done Shringer for two nights, and come here for three nights to ride out this weather. There is a jetty down here, so I'm hoping tomorrow the weather will clear up a little. I'll get out there and see if we can get on a small squid, which will be lovely. Anyway, getting out of this cold, it's freezing. At the moment, it's only about nine degrees, I think. Got the heater on in the van, we haven't got the diesel heater, we don't need it, it's not that cold. Just takes the chill out of the air. Yeah, look at these poor buggers in the swag here, I feel for them. We've done all that before. Alright, just while we're here, this is the end of the amenities, but 
just up here sort of the main entrance just up here the reception is to come in we've got all these bigger drive through sites up here they're all cement and very level it's a nice new area by Lewin See if you're in the area and you're going to strike yourself with a bit of bad weather or you just want a good caravan park in Port Lincoln, check this one out. Otherwise, last time we were here, we stayed out at North Shields. It's about 11 k's, uh, what would you call it, north, I suppose, or towards um, Tumby, Tumby Bay Way. Yeah, so we stayed there last time we got the tides done. So we wanted to stay in town because we had a few things to do this time and to some, be somewhere a little bit different. All right. That's us till Tuesday morning. So here we are. It's raining. It's just been doing this all day. So it's not majorly wetty, but it's cooling up here. Um, it's all part of travelling. So I'm glad we come here and um, just bunker down. I think it's going to be similar tomorrow, but not as much rain. Anyway, I just thought I'd give you a quick look at that while it's all happening and while we're here. It's all good and about to have some tea, so I'm excited. I've got to show you something. <laughs> What's going on here? Repairs. Running repairs. So the fridge is there. And the husband is in there. Oh, I want to show you up his trouser leg. What's happened, Dal? <laughs> well, I ain't really. <laughs> You don't really know. Well, you just had enough of me and you're trying to find a little alone yeah. time or what? A bolt's come out, you said. Yeah. Okay. And you want me to get the screwdriver? Yes, please. Okay. Yeah, the Phillips head screwdriver, it's in the door of the patrol where me stuff is. Right. And door the, of the patrol the where me stuff torch. is. And, and his head, head torch. torch. Right, I'm all over it. Let you know how we get on. Help, honey. Actually, we're going to be helping in a minute. I might just get myself out. I might make him a cuppa. Just get myself out of the equation. This was not my fault. But no. however, I still think I should stay away. Probably the best <laughs> Oh, we're on the move. Where are we going today, Plissot? Uh, we're heading east. We're just leaving Port Lincoln, as you can see. We're just on the foreshore. Just grabbed a bit of smoko. Look at that, the weather's just uh, become good. We had no wind for the last couple of days, which has been perfect, but it's been overcast, so I'm not uh, whinging about that. So we're heading maybe Waiala way, I reckon, up that way. Um, we're calling in to Louth Bay campground to see some followers for a bit. Um, and then, yeah, we'll just see what time we leave there. We'll make a plan where we can go. So we just called into the Beachfront Bakery on King Street. Oh my hat. If you're in Port Lincoln, call in there. It is moi, had everything and then some. Uh, the atmosphere was really nice. It's really big, airy. It's got giant windows that open up onto the ocean on one side and the street on the other. So nice and everything looked delicious. So I've got Big Dog a pie. So we'll have to give you his rating on his pie when we Get a wriggle on. Yeah, I'll probably wait till we get to camp. Yeah, wait till we get to South Bay and I'll crack it. But just in here is the jetty, which we haven't had a chance to have a look at. We've all had the jetty at the caravan park. We stayed at the Port Lincoln Tourist Caravan Park because of the weather. Oh, look, there's Matthew Flinders and his cat. There he is. Matthew Flinders' cat. Anyway, there's the jetty. One day we'll see, we've been here a few times, no doubt we'll be back again, so anyway we'll head east, catch up with some followers, which is exciting, and um, yeah, we'll find out where we're going to be. So we just left the caravan park at Port Lincoln itself, which I think is a G'day park, so we've stayed at both now, the one out at North Shields and the one in town, even though it's a little way out. And literally rate them both they were both really great that one we just stayed at was mint it's probably one of my favorite caravan parks we've stayed at big sites really grassy it like rolls it spreads out for ages got two amenity blocks a new one and an old one both immaculately clean um, it's got its own jetty with 
light so you can fish in that at night time. It's just got tables and stuff spread around everywhere with gorgeous views of the water. Um, it's got a really big laundry, a new rec room. Yeah, and swimming, brand new swimming pool and rec room last 12 months. Yeah, so I really rate that. So the one at North Shields was cheaper. I think it was 36 a night. And this one was 40. 45, I think. Yeah. So yeah, both much muchness, but yeah, really rated that one. It was just probably one of the best parks I reckon we've stayed at. Did you think that was? Yeah, it's quite big. We had a really awesome. Yeah. yeah, grassy sides. Yeah. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. We're close to everything, so it's made life easier for us. Yeah. All right then, onward. I've got morning tea from the bakery for everyone, so we will head to somewhere. Wherever we get.